last year. So for me, it is race 21. The Ascot stays listed. Race of fields up on the turf. Gatesville Shopper, Willie Jarrod. Been a while there, man. Men's big, devilish game, Darwin Thompson. Kiko is the core, Davy Lad. All together, Charlie, when the first time out. Stu Gray, Dinella Stormborn, Pontypool Racing, Jumping Bean, Pontypool Racing, Ladywell River, Patrick Organ, Neil's Diamond, Craig Beckwith, and Southern Comfort for Paul Rose. Ten runners in the listed race, two miles, two furlongs, good as off ground, three rolls and up. And my last race for the day here at Haskett, I'll hand you over then to Martin. We'll take you through the final couple of races at the Goodwood. Festival of 2024, I'll start as old as 6, where they'll finish off there with a big sprint. Oh, 110, over oh, 6 bones, it's doing its cap. Oh, we love the NASA stakes as well. Group 1 for the Phillies. Lady Well River is a leader by a couple of lengths for Patrick Ogan. Ogan? Organ. Second place is the Navy Storm one, built a formal season. But the horse of old, when she won the Doncaster Cup two seasons ago. Jumping Bean tracks her, and then can have been a while. Neo's Diamond and Southern Comfort. Paul always has a good stay up. Altogether, Charlie, still great, stepping in some in class today after making a good maiden win on his re on his debut devilish game kick was the cord deep lads always to be feared in stadium races and Gainesville shop up but he made a good progress in the staying game and always a dangerous man Dangerous trio, really. Ladywell River leads a bit of a while. Denaire Stoneborn and Jumping Bean in Gainesville Shopper. Devilish game. Neil's Diamond, so we cover Kiko's Accord. All together, Charlie. Just about marker. Uh, just over a mile and a half to run. Up her long. Just for a mile, come to the mile marker now. Lady Bell River, the rain starting to come down. A couple lengths from Bit of Wild in second. Devilish game in third. Gainesville Shopper fourth and Jumping Bean fifth. Good news that Jumping is coming back to Windsor, which is up the road from Ascot, of course. Windsor's having Jumping back. The jump card for years will be in December. And they love two then, doing the Berkshire Millions in January, any side of Ascot. So good to see Windsor, I'm jumping racing back. And now I'm going to have to see how, what that course is going to be laid out like for the jumps coming back to Windsor. As I told about it, and I hope Mark is re doing Windsor as we talk. The party going to change the course of Windsor, so it's not going to be a figure eight jump, I mean, jump, so somehow they're going to make it a circular. That's for the future. Lady Bell River stringing into straight from Jumping Bean. This is on the short side for Jumping Bean, I would think. Debris game. Then comes Gainesville Shop, a bit of while. Keeping the kickers in court, Neil's time and some comfort. Not got to me, Tony, the Indiers, the normal stumble dropped away, not to get Charlie, he's still out of here. They're now inside the two Lady Well, we're still a captain. Steve, here comes G Gainesville Shopper, jumping beans right there with Devilish game. These four just are it. I've been a while, and then Kiko's a cord, and Neil's Diamond. They're into the final phone. Gainesville Shopper got the phone. Devilish game's coming to the challenge on the inside. Jumping bean back, and put up towards the line. Gainesville Shopper, Devilish game getting that land, and Devilish game's gone on to win by a length. Gainesville Shopper saying, Jumping bean on the good racing third for me. He'll step up in, in true chat. And we're looking for the fourth. Looks like it might have been TV Lads. Devil's game wins 66 to 1. Gainesville Shopper 13 to 2. Jumping Bean 33 to 1. This 
price is all over the place here. Uh, Double steam, 661. Uh, it's a good price. He gets a quarter of his four for David Ladd. And Neil's diamond with Sif. Great bit with Al Seal. Like I've done the other chases tomorrow. Bye bye.